Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Sparky Linux and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Sparky Linux. Click on download Sparky Linux from the first link and download the LXQT AMD64 version of Sparky Linux ISO file. Now while it is downloading go to another tab and search for Rufus and go to the official link and download the latest version of Rufus to make a bootable USB of Sparky Linux. Now once both files are downloaded close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive data. Now after that go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the Sparky Linux ISO file which we downloaded and for the partition scheme open system information from windows search and check for BIOS mode if it is UEFI you need to choose GPT otherwise you need to select MBR. Now click on start this process is going to take some time so I am going to fast forward this part. Now once this process is complete close everything and then right click on your start menu to open disk management. Now select the right local disk and select shrink volume and allocate free space for your Sparky Linux. I recommend about at least 40 GB. Now after that close disk management and now it's time to restart the computer and boot from the Sparky Linux USB. So while your computer is restarting press the boot menu key which is usually F12 key or escape key to open the boot selection menu and choose the USB option from the list and it will start booting into US Sparky Linux. So finally we have put it into the Sparky Linux live ISO. Now close the welcome screen and then it is recommend to connect to Wi-Fi before opening the installer. And after that open the installer and then choose your language and your keyboard layout. Now for partitioning if you are an experienced user you can choose manual partitioning but for simplicity you can just click on replace a partition and then click on the free space which we created on windows and make sure that the correct drive is selected for the bootloader. Now click on next and then enter your user details and your password. And after that it will give a summary of your installation and if everything is ok then you can click on install. So finally the installation is completed now you can click this reboot now checkbox and then click on done now whenever your computer start it will show a grub menu to choose between operating system and for some reason if it does not show windows option then you don't need to worry you need to boot into sparky linux first and we are going to fix it later
so as you can see we have booted into sparky linux perfectly now to fix the grub menu to show windows option open a terminal application now type sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub now look for the line which says grub underscore disable underscore os underscore proper now uncomment the line by removing the hash in front of it and after that press ctrl plus o to save and ctrl plus x to exit nano now type this command sudo update dash grub to update the configuration of grub and now if you st restart your computer you will see a windows option in the grub menu now let's boot into windows to check if our windows is working or not So as you can see we are able to boot into windows as well so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you